Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is August 5th, 2023. And I think this may be the last time you guys will be seeing my locks. So let's get right into it. The sun shines on all of my glory. My flaws don't look so bad at all. What was I so afraid of? So this is going to be my three year lock update. I can't believe it's been three years. Um, it's been such a journey and I'm so surprised that I made it this far. So if this is your first time tuning in or if you just need a little refresher, I will give you a recap just on my lock journey so far. So I started my locks on September 8th, I believe, 2020. I started with two strand twists. I have a total of 68 locks. I started with a little more, but over the course of these last few years, I have combined some. I did my starter locks myself, and for the most part, I have maintained my locks myself. I literally saw a loctician one time throughout these last three years. It's been such a learning process, a growing process. I've learned so much about my hair, so much about myself. These last few years have honestly been like the most creative I have felt I think in a long time, I have dibbled and dabbled in color. I have just done a lot of different styles, tried a lot of different styles. I've had lock extensions, and most recently I did the mermaid locks, which I literally just cut out on my head. So yes, I have done so much <laughs> during these last three years. I've literally documented this entire journey from the beginning until now. For my first year, I literally documented my progress every month and I have tons of lock styling videos, lock chat videos, just me being honest, vulnerable, um, just a variety of videos when it comes to my locks. Overall, this has been such an enjoyable journey, but I'm sad to say, and I can't believe I'm even saying this, but as beautiful as it has been, I think that this may be the end of an era. And it's really hard saying it now because like I didn't got dressed and did myself up for this video and I feel like I look so pretty right now. So me even saying this, I'm like, eh, am I really recording this video? So if you guys have followed my lock journey, this is not the first time that I've talked about either cutting my locks, combing them out or starting over. However, I think that this is the strongest the urge has ever felt. Um, in my two and a half year lock update video, I did kind of talk about me yearning for something new. About a month after that video, I did do my mermaid locks and that kind of pacified me for a while. I was like, okay, maybe this is what I needed. Like, I just needed to try something new with my locks, something different. And after I did my mermaid locks, like those kind of, those feelings of me feeling like I wanted to get rid of my locks, they kind of, you know, calmed down. However, y'all, I woke up this morning and I had such an urge to just cut my hair. I text my cousins and I'm like, I have an urge to just cut off my locks right now. And they're like, bro, chill. <laughs> chill <laughs> what's going on and yeah i don't know i just feel like i'm ready for something different something new as you guys can see i didn't cut them but i was like okay let me try combing one out and see how i feel about it because sometimes you know you think you want to do something until you actually start the process and you're like no this is not what i want to do so i went ahead and i started combing one out and y'all the process it did take some time, right? But as I started, like the process was going a little too smooth. And I'm like, wow, this is really easy. This is a lot easier than I thought because I have like combed out the ends of my locks before in the past. And when I did that, I was like, yeah, I will never do this again. If I decide to get rid of my locks, like I'm gonna cut my hair. But this morning when I was having that feeling and I just started combing that one out, like the process was so smooth. It did take me about 20 to 30 minutes to get it out just because it is a tedious process, but I wasn't fighting with my hair, none of that. I was literally just combing it out. And then once I got to like the roots and finally all of it was untangled, like I just felt such a release. Um, 
yeah i don't know it just felt so good that's the only way that i can say it, is that it just felt so good and i just felt such a release and that's not to say that my locks are like causing tension or anything like that on my head but i think because i've had this kind of dibble and dabble what do i want to do for a while if anything that release that relief was just almost like confirmation right it was i feel like with anything in our lives whenever you're ready to move on whenever you're ready to let something go you kind of have this like is this you know when you know type of feeling and so when i finally got the lock fully untangled it was more so of a you know when you're ready type of feeling and it was one of those feelings so yeah y'all where's the lock at so here is my lock that i combed out i just did like a little two strand twist um right now to so it won't just be like a piece of loose hair um kind of out but yes y'all another reason why i wanted to try combing it out is just because i really wanted to see like the integrity of my hair if my hair was strong enough to withhold like a full comb out process because i have done a lot of experimenting i have colored my hair a couple of times so um yeah i was actually surprised at the integrity of my hair like obviously i'm gonna need a trim and all of that stuff but for the most part my hair isn't is still in like good condition so yeah y'all i'm sure this wasn't like the three-year update some of you were expecting honestly i wasn't really expecting it either this has been like i don't know like up until this point when we started my locks, I have never really been attached to my hair. I tell you guys all the time, I've always been very experimental with my hair. Like in my early 20s, I used to cut my hair into pixie cuts all the time. And I used to do a lot of just stuff to my hair. But this is the first time with my hair. It's like, ooh, am I making the right decision? Um, and yeah, it, I'm nervous. <laughs> like yes i'm nervous i'm a little scared first of all i'm like do i even still know how to comb my hair because i ain't really combed it <laughs> combed it for real like with a comb in a long time um i'm excited but i definitely have like a lot of mixed emotions thinking about okay you're gonna have to get comfortable and used to like dealing with loose hair again because with your locks even when they not done they done right if i need to run out to go to the grocery store or something I don't really gotta do nothing to my hair. It's like, it's done. The maintenance is a lot different. So part of me is like, ooh, am I ready to deal with that again? Um, another big thing that I've been worried about is my channel here. My log journey definitely brought in like a new demographic to my channel. As a creator, it is scary when you do um, any type of shift because it's like, oh are people still gonna watch my videos what is going to be the future of my channel and it's definitely like a an unnerving um feeling like i said today is august 5th but it'll probably be a while before you guys actually see this video but literally last so as of today two days ago i posted a um transparency talk video which i will link here or down below um but it's my boredom versus peace transparency talk video in that video i talked a lot about feeling like i have to do more or not really knowing what i want to do and literally last night before i went to bed i did my prayers like usual but last night my prayer was like me just really surrendering my ideas to god because i always have a lot of ideas and i never really know which when or which ones I need to prioritize and things like that and so yesterday I literally surrendered all of my plans to him and I told him I'm giving you everything all these ideas all these plans that I have for my life I'm gonna give them to you and whatever you want me to do give them back to me and give me the tools and the plan that I need to get them done literally my prayer last night and I woke up this morning again with the urge that was just like it's time to get rid of your locks <laughs> um and so that's kind of what like really gave me the push like yes i'm worried about my content but at the same time i was doing content before i started my locks and that's what i had to remind myself it's like you you can do anything so just because i don't have locks does not mean that i don't have anything valuable to offer and so i had to remind myself that um but another reason i was feeling kind of bad is because I don't know i just feel like you guys always compliment me and tell me how much like my videos have helped you along your journey and i just was feeling bad because i feel like 
I'm leaving y'all or like I'm deserting y'all and I hate that feeling y'all um I get tagged in videos all the time like on Instagram and TikTok of you guys recreating my styles and things like that and I just I feel bad and I know I can't live my, like, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Like, everyone who has, like, followed me on this journey, who has left encouraging comments, who have given me suggestions, who have just hyped me up, period. Like, y'all don't understand how much I love y'all. Um, all my supporters, I really do love y'all. And I'm so grateful for you guys. And I'm so thankful for you guys. I feel like I don't say it enough. But I am truly grateful and thankful for you guys. Um, and I'm not, I'm not trying to leave y'all. I promise y'all. I'm not. Um, but you know, like I said, sometimes you get a feeling of you know when it's time, whether it's with anything, you know, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, um, whatever it is, when you have that feeling of, you know, it's time for something new, it's time to move on, you just kind of know, and I can't like neglect or push what I feel to the side, um, at the sake of others. So yes, y'all, this is going to be an interesting process and journey and I guess this kind of brings me to like what's next <laughs> um so first I gotta get these locks out of my head like I said I went back and forth on whether I'm gonna cut them or comb them out I will most likely comb them out um before I had locks you guys know I was doing like weaves wigs braids faux locks those kind of styles pretty sure that I will still do them here and there but honestly y'all I went like completely natural in 2017. I big chopped. Eventually in 2020, I started my locks. But in that time of me growing out my natural hair, not processing my natural hair, um, I've never really wore it. I can probably count on one hand. Well, maybe more than that. But I didn't do like a lot of natural styles. Or I just really didn't wear my natural hair that often. So I kind of feel like I'm headed into like my natural hair era um because even though i've been natural i wasn't really wearing my natural hair until i got my locks and so yeah i think going forward i kind of just want to focus on nurturing my natural hair um wearing my natural hair in its natural state and its curls and just more natural styles with just my real hair honestly i think that's kind of the direction that i want to go in um with my hair and with my content but yeah y'all we shall see and who knows there's a chance i may even come back to the lock community but i do just feel like this set specifically has run its course like i love the way that my hair looks obviously i have grown to just love my locks and all of their imperfections this was a beautiful set i'll say that but you know just taking everything that i've learned along this journey um there was there are a lot of things that if I were to start a second set that I would do differently and so I said it before I do feel like this is like my trial set where I got to experiment and do all these different things but for now I do think that this set specifically has run its course so at first I was going to wait until I actually reached the three-year mark next month in September but I wanted to do this a little early just because um, my birthday is in October and I did some calculations. So we're going to say it took me about 30 minutes to comb this one out. I have 68 locks and when I did the math, it averaged out to be about 34 hours that it would take to take out 68 locks. Now, obviously, I'm not going to sit down for 34 hours straight to comb out my locks. My goal is to have them out within 30 days. I don't think it's going to take the full 30 days, but, you know, I just want to give myself some time. And like I said, my birthday is in October and I didn't want to wait to September to start because whatever my hair is going to be, I want to have a good grasp on it before my birthday gets here. So, yeah, y'all all morning <laughs> i've been like okay i'm gonna sit down and film this video and now that i'm actually sitting down and verbalizing it i don't know it's making me a little sad and like i said i feel like i look so pretty today but yeah y'all this is my hair guess i'll do my last like official texture shot
but yeah y'all that is going to be it for this video thanks again to everyone who has supported me on this vlog journey um supported my videos shared my videos left tips comments encouraging words all of that i truly do appreciate y'all next up we're going to be taking out these locks y'all so thank you all again so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow me on all of my social media platforms and i'll see you beautiful people in my next video bye